Hi, this is Arnaldo from the support team. And for today's Tips and Tricks Tuesdays, we're going to be looking at how to manipulate the dimensions of an iframe. For my example, I'm using a, an iframe from YouTube. So I'm going to copy the iframe over and then paste it into an HTML widget on my data site. So if we take a look at the iframe that we just added, we'll notice two attributes for our the dimension of the iframe. We'll see width and then height. And because there are no units um, specified, then we can assume they're working with pixels. If there were a percent sign, then we're working with percentages. If we there were a VH, that, or I guess in this case, a VW, then we're working with a uh, viewport width and so on. So in this case, we're working with pixels, or at least that is the, those are the attributes. That's the dimensions that the iframe came with. So I'm going to click update. And if I take a look at the site, I'll see that the video that I had uh, copied over from YouTube in an iframe has been placed on our site. But I'll also notice that the video itself is not taking up the entire width of this section. And if I hover over this, uh, the widget, you'll see here this blue outline, right? That is my HTML widget. And if, and it's been set to take up 100% of the width. Um, whereas the content, right, the iframe itself, it's only set to take up 560 pixels. So um, how we could fix this is we can try to change this over to pixels and we'll see here it's 972 pixels. If I change that to 560, then we'll see that that blue line snaps um, so that it looks uh, nice and snug around um, the video, the the I, our iframe. Um, so, and we can do the same thing for high. Right now it's set to auto, but if I were to change that over to pixels, then it's set to 315, which once again, let's take a look at the content. Our height is set to 315. So let's take a look at the different breakpoints on tablet. I'm pretty content with how that turned out. So I'm not going to touch that. And if we take a look at mobile, however, we'll see here that the video is overflowing, right? It's kind of bleeding outside of the editor, which we don't want. And if we take a look at that blue outline, we'll see that it's uh, it's a lot smaller, right? Than the video set to 400 and or sorry, 343 pixels width. So I can change this to 343. And then once I do this, now the video is um, the content, right, of the iframe. In this case, the video uh, is set to take up that uh, the same width as the HTML widget. So that looks good. Um, however, if I go back to my other breakpoints, we see this same issue again um, from earlier where the video is only taking up a certain uh, percentage of the entire width of our HTML widget. In this case, our HTML widget is 560 pixels, whereas our uh, the iframe is 343. And that's why we have this white empty space um, that is uh, that is present here. So how do we fix this? How do we uh, set uh, set up attributes, set up a dimension that's going to respond to the different breakpoints? Um, so the very first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have set the different dimensions of the HTML widget across all the different breakpoints. So I have an HTML widget that has a width of 560 pixels and a height of 315 pixels for uh, desktop. If I go to tablet, we have 360 or 560 by 315 as well. I like how that looks. And then if I look at mobile, it's 343 by 315. This is what I'm most satisfied with. Um, so great. So we've got uh, step number one out of the way, which was set the dimensions of the HTML widget. The second one would then be to go to the content of the HTML and then just change this to 100%. Um, if we change, if we change width 
from 343 or 560 to 100%, they were telling the iframe, hey, iframe, I want you to take up 100% of whatever container I'm in. Uh, in this case, for uh, let's go ahead and update. Great. So now it's taking up 100% of 560 pic pixels, right, for, um, for desktop. Uh, for our tablet, it's doing the same thing. It's taking 500 or it's taking up 100% of 560 pixels. And then for mobile, it's taking up 100% uh, of 343 pixels uh, for the container. And you'll see if I were to make this bigger, so let's go ahead and make that, I don't know, 700 pixels. Because we added that 100% uh, width, it's taking up 100% of 700 pixels. Let's go to break, uh, tablet, it's doing the same. And then if we go over to mobile, it stayed as 343 pixels. Um, but the iframe itself is taking 100% of those 343 pixels, that, which is the width of the HTML widget. All right, I hope you found this helpful.